class. Today, we are going to wire up one of these. This is an electrical cord switch. And let me briefly tell you a little bit about its components. So this is a little clamping thing, which we clamp down the cable, which is going in and out of the thing. This one is ground, which is basically, um, well, the little security ground function so that it doesn't uh, burn when it gets shortened out in that way. Uh, makes it less dangerous. So this is of course an earthed or a grounded switch. Um, there are ungrounded switches, but uh, if you're doing with grounded switches, you need to make sure that you use a cable with three cables in it. So three conductors. Here uh, they are in, in many parts of the world, they are blue, brown and green, yellow. The green yellow is uh, ground. Uh, the brown is the live and the blue is the neutral. And this is of course because it's alternating current, so it uh, switches, um, it, it comes from the live one, the power, but it switches back and forth between the live and the neutral one, the blue and the brown, 60 or 50 times per uh, second. So in any case, uh, this goes to the ground, uh, th th this one on the side, that goes to the neutral, the blue one. And here you can see that we are actually cutting or con or connecting the current here. Uh, and that is for the brown wire. So the brown wire, the live one, will go here. And of course, make sure that you do not have anything connected in anywhere when you're working with cables like this. That's of course very important and you should probably already know this, but I'm telling you anyways. And also that uh, legality of doing stuff like this yourself differs a little bit between different countries and if you need some kind of certification or not, check that bev before we are not responsible for anything you may might mess up. So in any case, we'll need to gauge approximately how far the, the cables will go. And remember, uh, on the side here, here we have the neutral one, we have them there. So if we kind of gauge them to the mill here, this is approximately how far we'll need to, uh, well, remove the uh, insulation from these cables. Somewhere around there. Uh, this white powder here, that's uh, flame retardation. That's not very healthy, so be a little bit careful about wash your hands afterwards. And the other cable. We're going to remove the clamps here. Now on my cord switch, I can actually take these little uh, leads loose from uh, this area. Now we of course need to make sure that they go in all half the way in like that and that not any loose little wire is sticking out on any side so it's a uh, so it doesn't actually accidentally short out or anything like that if you have some trouble to get the wires uh, all to be in in this if any and any of them kind of stick out a little bit you can just carefully twist them together a little bit so that none is sticking out don't twist them too hard just twist them enough so that you can insert the whole thing and make sure that the screw is clamping down on the copper and not on the insulation part because that might be a weak um, weak bond kind of uh, so it accidentally gets uh, torn out later. So make sure it's onto the copper like that, perfect. We're now going to connect up the other cable in the other end. So the yellow green goes to the yellow green, which is of course the ground. The ground is not any of the dangerous, scary connections. The ground is, you know, the ground is this part here on the plug. The blue and the brown one. Those are the cables to worry about. Make sure that the screws are sitting tight onto the copper so that they don't uh, try to escape later. That would be really bad. So we can insert it here into the switch and put all of these little connections at the right spot. Yep, they seem to be fitting there perfectly well and they are just about right. 
so now we can indeed <laughs> connect the brown cables so it's a little bit cramped space to work with this kind of thing but as long as we kind of uh, get them in the right order and the right length it's usually no problem there is uh, usually more problem if you accidentally make them too uh, long the wires the live wire lastly get the, the careful little twist insert it there screw down the screw onto the copper and on the other side make sure it really goes in there and also make sure that no loose little copper wire gets anywhere else that might increase the chance of anything shorting out in the future which is really bad and then we can sort them up and push them down into the different little sockets where they go. Like we can see here, we might need to push the different cables aside a little bit so it's tight and nice like this. Make sure that these are indeed secured down in their places like that so it's looking nice and tight like this. And these need to sit and clamp down on the white part of the cable of course otherwise they will not get a good enough grip make sure they are tight and nice and you can go over and test the screws you're drawn in to make sure that they are actually sitting pretty tightly because this is this is the last chance to do that now everything is looking pretty tidy and nice don't you think so we can finally cover this thing up there we go cord cable complete anyways if you enjoyed this little video please subscribe for more this is your host Jimon and i'm signing out bye bye